Hello, hey guys, hope you are very well. In today's video, I wanna run through with you the promoter hit list. Now, this is the, I, I honestly think this is the biggest thing any DJ can add in if you're at the point where, you know, you're not at the level where you have a booking agent out there locking in gigs for you all the time. Well, until that point, you need to be your booking agent. And quite often what happens, and I don't know if this has happened for you, but you never really get that solid consistency of gigs coming, you know? And if an opportunity comes in, you'll take it. Um, if you see something you want to play at, maybe you'll try and get on it, not always get there. Or maybe you'll reach out to some promoters and they'll they'll either chat to you and, and, and maybe it happens, maybe it doesn't, or maybe you get ghosted. And it's always just, you know, you're trying everything you can to get gigs and it just never gets onto the motorway and just becomes plain sailing and happens consistently. This fixes all of that. It's the biggest thing you can do. It doesn't take long. And literally, you do it once and the work is done and it just feeds you gigs year after year after year. The promoter hit list, it came off, it's an internet marketing concept called the Dream 100. And basically, what the, what the concept says is, for anything in life, whether it's getting gigs, whether it's uh, getting new clients, it, 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 it's not just for DJing. It's any time you're trying to get a contract, get a sale, get a book. You need to come up with a dream 100. And that's a list of 100 or more perfect clients. And once you have that, you can work that list over and over and over again. And because they're perfect for you, you can focus on just that 100. And you're not having to just put yourself out there to the whole world, to every promoter, and just trying to, trying to scrape by. You're going to the people that are most likely to book you, perfect for you, and you're going straight in on them. So the first thing you need to realize, if you're going to be a DJ and you're going to try and do this either full-time, as a career or part-time as a, a, a serious side hobby, that this is the music business. There's the music side, but there's also the business side. And if it's a, if it's a thing that you want to be a full-time DJ and you want to go at it as a career, you need to understand that you're in business for yourself. You're your boss, but you're also the product. You're the end result. You're the thing that you're selling. And so just having the music right that's great, that it, but that's a given. You have to have the music right. Just having the music right alone isn't good enough. If you don't have a booking agent out there pitching for you, if you don't have a manager pitching for you, then you need to be doing that. And if you're not doing that, then the shop is shut. Nobody's doing it. Of course you don't have gigs because nobody's pitching. Nobody's making, nobody's doing the business side of it. You can be so focused on the music side of it that you forget to do any of the business side of it. And then you don't have a music business. You don't have a career. You just have music. And look, that's great. We love music. But if you want to be full time, you need to have income. You need to have gigs. You need to have consistent gigs. You need to, you need to level up and do this seriously. So we need to understand this is the music business. Don't forget this side of it. Secondly, we want to build your hit list. Okay, look at this crowd of people. Imagine these were all promoters. Everybody there is a promoter. You could spend your life just going around, chatting to them one by one, trying to get in with them all. The same as you're currently doing, just reach out to this promoter or that promoter, or just trying to put yourself out there and hope somebody bites. Well, what if you knew that it was just these people in the corner? These people are the people that book your sound. These people are either locally to you or they're, they're national to you. You can get to them on a, on, a, on a regular basis and they like the music that you play. Wouldn't it be so much easier? Because now you just have to spend your time talking to those. You can spend your time down in that little corner, chatting to those, making relationships with those, getting them to hear your music rather than trying to appeal to everybody. And that's the beauty of the Dream 100 because what we're doing is we're sitting down and we're making a hit list of the promoters that are already booking acts that are playing our sound. And we're not trying to target anybody else and because we have that small list, we're able to laser focus and just go straight after them. So this is why this is super important because now you don't have to appeal to everybody, you just have to appeal to the right 
promoters, the right bookers. And once you know who they are, that becomes a whole lot easier. So once we find out who they are, once we actually make the, the hit list, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, I'm going to show you how to, uh, how to drill down and how to actually find the contacts, find the emails, find the person that you need to speak to and what you should be saying to that person. What we do is once we build our hit list, we don't wait. We don't hang about. We don't wait for the right time. We immediately, immediately shoot our shot. So we want to go straight at them and reach out. Now, the way we do it is completely different. You're not going to reach out if you have reached out before and to a promoter and just said, hey, I'd love to play a gig sometime. I'd love to have a set if you have some free sets. A promoter has a million DJs reaching out to him at all times. He's never stuck for a DJ, never has a spare set. Like, it doesn't work like that. There's, there's nothing new there. There's nothing that's grabbing the promoter's attention. He'll have loads of messages like that in the inbox. It's so easy to ghost. There's nothing appealing. We do it completely differently. We come with an opportunity in hand. We wrap it up in a different way and bring opportunities to promoters. Here's an opportunity. Do you want to hop on this? This is something cool that we have going on. Uh, we'd love to come down and play plus X, Y, and Z. We do it really cleverly. I'm going to show you. Um, and, and, and then it's not a case of, oh, maybe can I find a slot for this DJ? It's uh, yes or no. You have an opportunity for them and they say either yes or they say no. Some will be no's, but some will be yeses. So if you have your hit list of 100 places that you really want to play and you're getting some yeses every now and then and they start slowly but surely, the list is converting into yeses and then you rebook those yeses again and again and again, this is how you start building constant gigs, constant bookings, constant tours. So we're going to shoot our shot. We're not going to hang about. We're not going to wait for the right time. We're going to, we're going to shoot our shot. Then we're going to have some gigs that book, but... The majority of the list, the vast majority, are not going to book on the first first message. Nothing ever, like none of your bookings are going to happen on the first message. You, you will get one or two quick wins, I'm sure. But the vast majority of them are in the follow-up. So what we do is we put them into the never-ending follow-up. They're literally, we are going to follow up in a really smart and clever and nice way in dribs and drabs, maybe every quarter or every couple of months until that relationship converts. We use a tool called the, let me get the tool, the PRM. We use a tool called the PRM to track this. This is where we track the contacts uh, in the, the venues. Who's the promoter? What position are they in? First name, surname, what's their direct email? When do I follow up next? All of the good stuff. We use that to track. And so nobody ever slips the net. Um, if you ever seen in a, in a supermarket, you know when you drop the, there's those swirly uh, yolks that you drop the, the 2P into or you drop the coin into and it swirls round and round and round and drops in to a charity? Well, I want you to imagine it's just like that. You're going to drop the coin in and you're just going to swirl around and swirl around and swirl around until, boom, you drop in and there's going to be a booking at the end. You're like that. You are going to keep reaching out to this promoter with a new opportunity, with a new, with a new pitch, with a new angle, with a new approach every quarter in a nice way until they book you. You're just going to stay there swirling around until they book you. And we do it in, in a nice way so that every time you reach out to that promoter, they like you a little bit more. You get to know them a little bit more. You build a relationship rather than annoying them with, hey, any update on this or any of these annoying little follow-ups? That's not what we're going to do. We're going to do it in a really nice and clever way. Uh, when we did the L Rotor in um, 2019, so we did uh, London, Scotland, uh, and Antwerp. And that was amazing. But we had been over and back in uh, and in and out with Elro for four years and, and conversations every year or every couple of months and lots of stuff doesn't happen. You don't take it as a rejection. You just keep going. Eventually, the right thing will happen and the relationship will get to a point where it just happens. But you got to keep following up and, 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 and re-offering opportunities. Okay? So, next up, then, once we've got them in... <laughs> We've got the right person. We know who the booker is. We've reached out. We've shot our shot. It hasn't happened for whatever reason. 
We're going to nurture the leads. We're going to get them on socials. We're going to get them on Instagram. We're going to get them on LinkedIn. Surprisingly, surprisingly, is an amazing tool for DJs and no DJ realizes it. Every booker is on there. They're all doing announcements. They're all shouting out. They've got all the industry people underneath uh, congratulating them. You should be there. Yeah. Everybody that you need to speak to is in that comment section. Every promoter is on there and you can get their email from it. Um, and, and you can nurture the leads. You can comment. You can celebrate. You can share. You can give it some love. Have you ever put out a post in your life? Have you ever not read the comments? Give me any post in your life that you've posted on Instagram or Facebook that you haven't read the comments. Well, promoters are the exact same. They're human too. When they put out a post, they read the comments. And when you're in the comments all the time, congratulating, cheering them on, sharing the post, they see it. They get to know your name. When you reach out the next time, rather than you being some stranger, they recognize you. So there's not that instant, who is this stranger? That's gone now. It's, ah, I know this person. That's the person that's always uh, leaving nice comments on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, wherever. This is only a really small thing. And on its own, it's not going to get you a booking. But it's kind of like with a car. Uh, a car is the big thing, but like a spark plug is really a small thing. A spark plug on its own isn't going to get you anywhere. But when you take a spark plug away from a car, the car is fucked. It's just a little small thing. And these little small things make all the difference. Rather than landing into a promoter's inbox and them not having a clue who you are versus landing in the promoter's inbox and them knowing exactly who you are, it, it just drops the wall so much quicker. And we get booked so much quicker. So after that, eventually gigs are going to start to, to book. You should be slowly but surely converting people on your hit list and adding new people. But what we don't want to happen is that you get complacent. You know, you start to get some gigs and you're like, oh, I'm good. I'm good. I got some gigs now. It's like when you're hungry, you know, when you're, you're starving, you just can't wait to eat. You just cannot wait to get home and eat. And then you get home, you stuff your face. And then all of a sudden, you're full. You're, 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 you're satisfied. You're not really thinking about food. You don't want to, you, you don't even want to talk about it anymore. But the truth is, in a couple of hours, the next morning, whatever it may be, you're going to be starving again. You're going to be hungry again, and you're going to need to eat. Bookings are just like that. You get a couple in and you're like, ah, that's fine, I'm good. I don't need to think about it right now. You do. You need to keep the system up. Keep nurturing the other people on their hit list so they can they can fall off. They can start to convert. They can start sending in the bookings. And you grow surely but surely. If you book five, ten gigs this year and you get them to rebook you in a couple of months or next year, every year your bookings just grow and grow and grow. And we do this really, really quickly. And so it's really important to keep at it. Just keep the system going. What I get my artists to do is what I say three by three. So each week, three quality social media posts that promoters can see that you're somebody that they want to book, that you can help promote a gig. Three reach outs to new, new promoters that you haven't spoken before. So just three. And then three follow ups with promoters that you've reached out to recently. That's it each week. That alone will yield amazing results. Now, I've put together a full training on how you can do this. So how it includes the PRM. What you want to do with this PRM is you want to fill this with 100 parties that are booking acts just like you. You want to find out who the promoters are. You want to get them in there. You want to find out their direct email address, get them in there, and you want to find out exactly what to say to them to start booking gigs. That's a longer training. If you want a copy of that training, comment below and just say free training and we'll get back and I will send you the free training and on that free training I show you everything you need to know you'll be able to delve into it rewatch it get stuck in and build this out find out who the promoters are that you should be speaking to and find out what you should be saying to them and get going you'll be able to book gigs straight after that so comment below free training and I will get that training straight over to you okay Cheers. Good chatting to you. I will see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching my video. If you've made it this far, please do me a favor. Like, subscribe so you can get all the, the future content and let me know in the comments what you thought of this video. But more importantly, if you're a DJ that wants to get more bookings, if you want to lock in better clubs, better festivals and more of them, 
Uh, I want to give you the system that we use to do this with DJs. I want to give you the full blueprint, uh, all of the training to run you through it, and any of the, the tools and, uh, and templates that you need. There's a link in the description down below where you can go and get it now for free. Uh, go help yourself. Let me help you. Let's get you booked together. The link is below. Uh, did I mention like and subscribe? Like and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.